Welcome back to our off-road dogfight where we're putting the iconic Land Rover Defender up against another Defender. However, my version happens to be fully electric. The Diesel is my very own car, and so far, she's in the lead, proving to be a bit more controllable up and down this steep hill, compared to Vicky's runaway EV. I don't know, let's have some break now, let's have some break. <laughs> it ran away, what was that? Now we turn our attention to water, because there is a lot of it in the UK, and sometimes going through it or wading is quicker than going around. How deep do you reckon that is? Got to be honest, I've got absolutely no idea. But that's already proved itself to be a proper wader. Officially, it's 50 centimetres, but that's already done way, way deeper. Yeah, but that was when you were in a concrete-bottomed wading pool. That might have half a metre of water and then half a metre of sludge underneath. Well, that's exactly what I'd like to draw your attention to what we're wearing, oh, waders. These fine bits of fashion. These fine garments. So, uh, don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> No, no, no. After you. Shall we together? Oh, go on, then. So, have you ever done wading before? This might look strange, but we don't want to get our cars stuck, and taking the plunge is the best way to find out exactly what's lurking in the murky water. It goes high in the middle. Yeah, that's very so I'm, high here. I'm in a big hole right here. Our delightful dip has revealed that this pool is around 90 centimetres deep. That's almost double Land Rover's recommended wading depth. If I was in an average 4x4, I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> but my Defender is far from average. Should we leave it at your gentleman part? Anyway, back to the job in hand. What's going on here, then? Just a... Uh... Well, faffage. Well, you call it faffage, I call it getting organised. <laughs> Does that feel like...? Yeah, there we go, look. What are you in, high or low? I'm in high range. I'm a diff locked. I don't want to speed, but I just want to be able to push through with a bit of... Okay. I don't want to hang about, let's put it that way. Are you ready? No. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy! Oh. Oh, that's deep down here. That got deep in there, didn't it? But I'll tell you what, we are through good boy. and looking good. Good boy. That was good all right, girl. wasn't it? Yeah. Now for the EV. I'm packing my water wings for this one because those heavy batteries are going to weigh the electric Defender down and it could easily get stuck in the boggy water. But what you don't know, Jimmy, is that this car weighs more or less the same as yours at 1,900 kilograms. I'm thinking that in no way is this a good idea. Electricity and water don't mix. Look, OK, everything here is sealed. The battery, the motor, the wiring, all sealed. So you're saying this could wade as well as my Defender? Mm. I'm going to say that this can wade far, far better. You might as well call it a submarine. Wow. I mean, I suppose you're correct. My vehicle has a combustion engine. That needs air to work. Mm -hmm. This doesn't. It doesn't need any air. The only thing in this that needs air is me and you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <sighs> Snorkel kit on, shall we? Do let's. <laughs> so what's your approach? Go on, hit it. Hit it. Go on, then. When in doubt. I mean, this can get wet, can't it? Oh, 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 oh. Smelly one at that. Oh. Woo! That was impressive, though. Despite the leaky door seals, my EV has to be the water challenge winner because, unlike Jimmy's diesel that needs air to breathe, the EV can, in theory, be totally submersed. You know how to hit a water feature, don't you? Thank you. <laughs> 